Hi everyone, in this video we solve problem 9 from chapter 5 of the book Applied Thermodynamics in the Concant Here is the statement of the problem 9 from chapter 5. An air standard dual combustion cycle has a mean effective pressures of 10 bar. The maximum pressures and temperatures are 1 bar and 17 degrees respectively. And the compression ratio is 16 by 1. Calculate the maximum cycle temperatures when the cycle efficiency is 60%. The maximum cycle pressure is 60 bar so let me write the given data first the mean effective pressure this MEP means mean effective pressure and it is 10 bar then minimum the minimum temperatures are 17 centigrade this is let's say T1 that is 17 centigrade I have 273 with it to convert into Kelvin that is 290 Kelvin minimum pressures P1 that is 1 bar compression ratio is gamma p let's say it is given 16 ratio 1 the efficiency of the cycle is given that is 0 0.6 means 60 percent the maximum pressure of the cycle is 60 bar and we need to calculate the maximum temperatures of the cycle let me draw the pv diagram of the dual combustion cycle first isentropic compressions occur from 1 to 2 then from 2 to 3 this is constant volume heat addition then 3 to 4 it is constant pressure heat addition process and then isentropic expansion and it follows the law pv gamma is equal to constant similarly this is expansion this is compression and it follows the law pv gamma is equal to constant and then finally constant volume expansion process taken place and it reached to the initial state here the volume is specific volume is v1 here the specific volume is v2 the specific volume v2 and v3 is the same similarly the pressures here is p1 pressure here is p2 pressures here you will get that is p3 and it is the maximum pressures of the cycle p3 is equal to p4 because this process is taken place at a constant pressure here heat addition is taken place to the system similarly this process is taken place at a constant volume and heat addition is also taken place at a constant volume also so the name of joule combust is given because there is two combustions process taken place at a constant volume and a constant pressure that's why it given the name geocombustion cycle here the specific volume is v4 now come toward its solution here from this pv diagram you can observe that the maximum pressures is at p4 and p3 so this is p3 and p4 because p3 and p4 are equal and is equal to 60 bar and the maximum temperatures and the maximum temperatures you will observe in this dual combustion cycle is at a t4 because maximum heat addition is taken place after the constant volume and constant pressure and that is our concern to find the value of isentropic index is 1.4 for air remember the compression ratio 16 by 1 is given and it is equal to v1 divided by v2 focus on the process 1 to 2 it is isentropic compression then we can say that t2 divided by t1 is equal to v1 divided by v2 the power gamma minus 1 we can say that t2 is equal to t1 times into v1 divided by v2 to the power gamma minus 1 so just simply these terms value what is t1 that is 290 kelvin v1 divided by 2 that is 16 gamma means 1.4 minus 1 after solving this on calculators you will get the t2 value let me solve Press this equal button and it will give you the final value of T2 and it is 879.1 Kelvin. Now the pressure P2 value again focus on the process 1 to 2 that is isentropic compressions. During isentropic compressions P2 divided by P1 is equal to V1 divided by V2 to the power gamma. Also I can write that p2 is equal to p1 times into v1 divided by v2 to the power gamma now just enter this term value p2 is equal to what is p1 that is 1 bar v1 divided by v2 value is 16 it's a ratio and gamma is 1.4 so after solving this on calculators you will get the p2 value and it is equal to 48.5 bar now focus on this process 2 to 3 we will calculate the temperature T3. It is taken place at a constant volume. Then we can say that T3 divided by T2 is equal to P3 divided by P2. Rearrange this equation for T3 
now put the values of t2 p3 and p2 we have calculated previously and the value of p3 is given that is 60 bar after solving this it will give you the value of t3 it is 1087.6 kelvin we also didn't know the specific volume value at initial state v1 we need to calculate that also from general gas equation we can say that e1 v1 is equal to rt1 if we rearrange this equation for v1 that we can say that v1 is equal to rt1 divided by p1 what is the value of r it is constant that is 287 and t1 value that is 290 and p1 value is 1 bar so after solving this you will get the specific volume at initial state of this cycle that is 0.8323 meter cube meter cube per k Also, it says in the com the compression ratio is given that is 16 by 1 and is equal to V1 divided by V2. And we can say that V1 divided by V2 is equal to 16. Then the value of V2 is equal to V1 divided by 16. So what is V1 value? That is 0 0.8323 divided with 16. And you will get the specific volumes at V2 and it is 0 0.052 meter cube per kg this is the value of v2 specific volume at the state 2 we also know that the cycle efficiency is equal to network output divided by heat supplied since the efficiency is given and we need to calculate the total heat that is supplied and network we can calculate easily and we can say that the heat supplied is equal to network output divided by efficiency of the cycle says so it's equation one now the network of this cycle is equal to mean effective pressures multiplied by change in volume so what is mean effective pressure it is given the statement that is 10 bar the bar with 10 to the power 5 to convert into si unit and the change in volume is v1 minus v2 so this is v1 that is 0 0.8323 minus v2 that is 0 0.052 after solving this it will give you the net work output of the cycle and it is 780 kilojoule per kg almost now put this network output in this formula and it will give you the total heat that is supplied in this cycle that is 780 divided by efficiency of the cycle 0 0.6 so after solve this solving this on calculator so it will give you the values of 1300 kilojoule per kg also the heat supplied in joule combustion cycle is equal to the heat that is supplied at a constant volumes plus the heat that is supplied at a constant pressure we can say that cv change in temperatures t3 minus t2 plus the heat that is supplied at a constant pressure that is cp into change in temperatures t4 minus t3 and this is the maximum temperatures in the cycle T max and that is our concern to find what is the Q value the heat that is supplied during this process that is 1300 and the CV value that is constant and it is 0 0.718 T3 value that is we previously calculated is 1000 1087.6 the CP value is again constant and it is, is 1.005 T4 value we need to calculate that and the T3 value is 1087.6 we will solve this equation for t4 with the help of calculators it will give you the values of t4 so let me calculate that on calculator now press this alpha button and press this calc button so we can write the equations on the display of the calculator then the value of cv it is 0 0.718 just write this temperatures reference And the CP value 1.005 and the value of T4 is unknown we will write X on the display for its representation now press this shift button and press this calc button to solve for X yes and it will give you the value of T4 that is 2232 Kelvin 
scale one almost now subtract 273 from it to convert into centigrade and it will give you the values of 1959 centigrade and this is our final answer i hope you understand if still there is any confusion you can ask in the comment section please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed thank you so much